Look at the table. Couldn't fit it on the last episode. We're second. Brighton at the bottom. Sheffield United and West Brom just above them. Yeah, point above Manchester United in second place. Wow. So we have a game against Manchester City at Elland Road. This was a tough encounter as you might expect. Um, but an enjoyable one. It was an enjoyable game. Ball into the box. Escobar having a strike. Won't fall for Esposito really. Goalkeeper right there takes that. And then Guay tries to pass it forward. Gets it back straight away. <laughs> From Ricochet Balerdi to Saguara. To Koya Lipu. Swings the ball across looking for Esposito. Hacked away by the City defender. Headed on by Koya Lipu. 1-0 Leeds United. I don't think the defender would knew that Koya Lipu was there. Don't seem to be any communication. He's not the tallest figure as you can see, Koya Lipu. Um, but yeah, he got it for the header. So the defender must not have known he was there at all. Hooked up in the air. Poilipu right behind knocked it onto Esposito who powered it into the net for a lead to 1-0 one 1-0 one to Leeds United getting all tongue-tied a lead to Leeds United nice right foot strike past the keeper 11 minutes on the clock Leeds United defending just waiting for the City player to come toward and then passing it back and then to the side. Belerdi now looking for options, just waiting. Don't need to rush. Sugawara. Stark. Koyalipu. Looks for Esposito. Finds Esposito. It's going away from him. Tries to find Della Vega. 2 0 Leeds United. 14 minutes on the clock. Della Vega, the recipient of Esposito's pass, who was just going too far away for Esposito to be able to wrap his foot around that one for a shot. Went for the pass, found Della Vega. Defenders couldn't get it. It's the angle of it, and the keeper can't do anything about it as it's tucked in. At the far post for 2-0 to Leeds United. Half an hour nearly. The strike there from Aguero. Pushed around the post from Unsane. Or by Unsane. Corner to Leeds United. But that is up and over the bar. Guerrero now. But all they can find is the white shirt in front of him. Behind for a corner. Which they made nothing of. And the referee blew for half time. And Leeds United go into the break two up. Manchester City were good. And we had to work. As you might expect. I wish I could um, show more of the match really. But time limitations and all that challenges flying in there and then Aguero uses good feet and De Bruyne frustrated with himself for that one nice feet by Aguero, lays it off De Bruyne takes it, turns and hits it wide De La Vega ball in City defender reads it, defends, Manchester City come away, back here by Aguero, back to Aguero, lovely little angle ball through, looking for De Bruyne, into the stands, a frustrated figure, sits up, but couldn't get the foot into the position to strike it and direct it toward goal a 
Manchester City building. Again. Aguero. To De Bruyne and a deflection this time. Yep. Frustrated figure De Bruyne in this game. Which is nice for us to see. You know. So Aguero is deflecting that one. Getting a leg up to deflect it. 79 minutes on the clock and you can see that we haven't had a shot for a while so Manchester City were coming on quite strong here getting into the area but we were defending well as you can see we were getting bodies in the way of it and frustrating Manchester City Foden is this time frustrated Manchester City, of course, just, well, saying just above us, their points above us in the league, aren't they? They really are. Again, bodies in the way of it. City looking for space. Eventually a clean strike, but Unsane is there to parry that one. And then, toward the end of the game, we're looking for the runner on the far side, but it goes out of play, away from him. And the referee calls time on the match. And that is three points for Leeds United. And a, a game that was thoroughly enjoyable for me to play. That was a good game that. We have to work very hard and we did that. And we have our reward. 2-0 victory over Manchester City at Ellen Road. There's the stats. You can see that Manchester City dominated the passing and or possession and shot count. Which you would expect really. So I enjoyed that. We had to work hard and boys done good. There's the results for match day 31. And then we had another tough match. And this one, there was nothing to see in the first half, really. Two teams were going hard at it, but cancelling each other out. The stats will tell you that Arsenal had two shots. But I'm, when I put this together on the roof, on the, uh, in the editing... There was nothing doing. Second half, we got a free kick. 28 metres out. Oscar Rodriguez does the business. We needed that because we were getting nothing. We had no shots in the first half. None. Arsenal had two shots, none on target in the first half. So that was our first strike on goal. And he dispatched it from 28 metres. Very good free kick. Getting... Oscar Rodriguez territory and he did not disappoint. Kyle Poot swings the ball across but the Arsenal defenders were on it and they were reading things and it was very difficult for me to construct things. This was an extremely tough encounter. Both sides really found it difficult against each other. Arsenal here Finally getting through, are they? Squaring it. And finally a clean strike for Arsenal. You can see what type of game it was. Can you? It really, really was one of them. <laughs> it was a tough game. Tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper, I think, from the corner. Yep, he got his hand to that. Another corner swung in and headed and into a crowd of bodies and Arsenal can work this one away. 86 minutes on the clock and counting. Arsenal here trying to build. Of course we're trying to close them down but they've got a free man here. Far side into the area. Squares it. Deflection on the shot. Away. And they made nothing of that. And eventually, the referee called time on the game. You'll see the stats at the end of this. What a tough encounter this was. Again, it was another enjoyable match. You know. So at the Emirates, I missed I miss the name Highbury. And you can see there, Arsenal didn't have a shot on target. That's the kind of game it was. Oscar Rodriguez, man of the match. Match day 32. There are the results. So two really tough games uh, in this episode. But the boys done good. 
we done good. So here's some news and the main news really from this one is Stark's new skill, turn and cut behind and Rod Rodriguez role change. So make a great maestro. Right, take care and I shall see you for the next one.